B mark. We've done some amazing hero zombies that are sort of unbelievably spectacular. I think my favorite one so far is the zombie in the well. There was a walker on the property, stepped on the wooden lid for the well and fell through. We can't really look down the well because our actual location is just a six foot hole that they dug. There was no well there at all. And then suddenly we're over on the stage where Greg has built the most impressive set of a well. We built the interior about 22 feet of the, uh, the, the well on stage. That has doors on the side of it that open up. So they could you know, bring cranes in and go from the top, you know, someone's face all the way down. We're gonna leave oh, the top Bruce door open, it. bottom door closed. Bruce, Bruce check, check the gate. We have a shot that starts twisting and going down, looking straight down into the well, and then the shot continues on the stage and goes right up to Glenn, nearly getting killed by the zombie. There's a little bit of digital melting we'll have to do to make it all right. First time we've done some real on-stage sort of movie magic stuff, you know, it seems like we're always on location. There's a lot of uh, rigging that has gone into luring Glenn. That's why we've uh, elevated the set. Glenn's going to drop down on our well set. The swimmer walker passed on the hand. He didn't take it. Now Glenn, man, it's a good idea. I think it's a good idea. Want to let, go ahead and do a little short talk? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 I have got to get Stephen out of this barrel. Hey, we have not properly got this throat. Ooh, that was fun. Uh, we have a big bloated zombie working today. Keep action, keep action. Okay, Rob. Yeah. We ended up using one of our guys to play that zombie. Here, come here, I'll show you. Hey, Brian. Yeah, behind the belt. Hey, Brian. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> Brian is one of our lead mold makers, had a hand in building it. So he was there. Anytime we had to do fittings, we could just pop him in, look at it, make adjustments. I uh, do a little bit of everything, but I'm, I'm one of the supervisors at the mold shop. Feels very sticky. And asked me if I wanted to be in the suit. So I just jumped at the opportunity to do it. Here, show Jeff the tongue real quick. Oh, yeah. I'm so the tongue is awesome. Oh, the tongue really is. Oh, Where's the little? God. Oh, my God. Yeah. But see how we're doing this. Let's get You quit doing that. What? <laughs> <laughs> we made the head and the hands so it went on like a sweatshirt. And then we would attach the head and attach the neck with clasps and then blend this all up. So we got water balloons in here. So when he moved, everything kind of shifted around like it had weight to it. <laughs> Give me a kiss. <laughs> The pool that we're in is actually really cool, so it's it's keeping the body temperature down and the suit isn't getting too, too hot. We shoot exterior Tuesday, so I'm waiting to see what it's going to feel like outside. It was probably 110 degrees that day. It's really hot today. Hottest day of the year, thus far. God love Brian, man. You know, he never complained. How are you doing temperature-wise? You okay? I'm good. C-Mark? C-Mark? H-Mark? Have you seen the, the, the bile coming out of his nose and his ears? And... Action! I mean, it's disgusting. Have you really zoomed in? No! Nah. Uh, as the rope is lifting the zombie out, it's forcing the liquid out. So we put bladders behind uh, two eye forms, and we had tubes that went up to his ears, and then we filled his mouth with fluid. So when he got to the top, there was fluids pouring out of his ears, and. He was spitting up liquid, and then we had little bladders that were actually pushing his eyes out. That makeup was so spectacular, and the best part, hands down, is they finally get it to the top. The flesh is so thin because it's so waterlogged that it just tears open. We put a bunch of blood bags in, brown and green blood bags, and a trip release so we could pull it apart on cue. Three, two, one, action! You know, it rips apart and half the body goes slopping back into the well, and that shot is just so fantastically disgusting. We got T-Dog there ready to take care of the zombie. The first time they bring it out, he's looking at this thing, and he starts swallowing a little bit. And as soon as they cut, he, he had to walk away, get his stomach settled down. <laughs> oh, man, it was good. I told Greg Nicotero that, and he Stuck a fist up in the air. He said, "Yes." Hey guys, that's a wrap for the episode for Brian and the Zombie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey.